hi everyone today i am going to show you how to integrate spark with ipython notebook so you need to have two downloads for this uh, first download anaconda just google download anaconda and click this first link and from here depending upon your operating systems either windows or os x or linux download a suitable installation i have python 2.7 installed on my system so and depending upon your architecture 64 bit or 32 bit download the specific installer and install anaconda and uh, after this you need to have one more file that is apache spark and just google download spark and click this first link you will be redirected to apache spark official downloads page and uh, from here choose one of these spark release i have 1.6.1 and uh, after this click this link spark 1.6.1 bin hadoop 2.6. tgc and uh, when you download both of these and install and just check that you have installed anaconda correctly i have installed anaconda in my system you can see this and in a similar way i have extracted my spark in my g directory over here you can see this i am going to run this pi spark in ipython notebook we need to set environment and system variables for running spark so just go to your pc system properties advanced system settings and click environment variables and you can see i have user variable as spark variable name spark home and variable value uh, and this doesn't include the path to the bin directory up to the bin directory you can see this g spark 1.6.1 include the path until here and in the system variables in path and you can see here i have included the path until the bin directory basically this one so as we have both anaconda installed in the system and uh, spark also we need to set spark so as to run in ipython notebook so in order to do that uh, press your windows button plus r type cmd and ok and we need to uh, type two commands here set pi spark underscore driver underscore pi turn equal to i pi turn and the next thing is that set pi spark underscore driver underscore python underscore opts equal to notebook and the last thing is type pi spark Just wait for a few seconds. And it has started. Just uh, make a new folder. Uh, 
the untitled folder go into this and uh, create a new python to file and you can see that kernel starting please wait kernel started And we can see that Spark has started right now using Spark default log4j profile running Spark 1.6.1 it takes some time to run you can see some commands in your terminal and go here and type print sc and then shift enter and spark has started successfully by spark context and that's it this is a way to integrate ipython notebook with spark thank you